Hello YouTubers, today we're talking about the new training program and just training programs in general, what might work for you might not work for me and what might work for me might not work for you but before we get into that we're going to get in to Team Breakthrough once again and get some weights in because in the training program I'm doing weights are a, a reasonably large part of it and we'll kind of explain why we're doing weights after weights. So let's get to some weights. And we're finished at the gym and then we'll talk about sort of the weights we do in the training program over some food because after session we have to fuel up because remember food is fuel. Oh you into the flat getting some food on unfortunately my the rice cooker that I was promised would cook a kilo of rice in 10 minutes is not doing so well Yam agrees it's absolutely terrible look would you like to say hello to the vlog hello what have you got for breakfast lunch dinner got some scrambled eggs and salmon oh, delicious yeah and a bread and the bread absolutely fantastic and I've got some tuna rice and some maybe some vegetables if I can find them but now going to continue waiting on this rice to magically be cooked by this magic piece of equipment that might not actually be magic. And after the recommended 10 minutes didn't work, it's a further 20 minutes, but it hasn't been caught on fire and all of the rice seems evenly cooked, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't have to spend the next half hour cleaning a burnt pan, but now, finally, time <coughs> to fuel up. Yes, Yam wants it to. Oh, yeah. And we've made it to Luke's place for a little bit of rest and recovery. So we fueled up, had a lovely little nap and talking about the training that we're doing. So we've got another session today with a bit of variation that we'll get to later. But the training that I've been doing is more, isn't really any different, but it's as you've been seeing over the last week or so, there's quite a lot of intensity. And so I'll put the number of Ks I've done over the past few weeks, right about here. And it is, it's a few Ks. And that's one of the things that I feel like my weaknesses are, is my sort of overall fitness, well, underlying fitness that I spoke about before, my aerobic fitness that I spoke about. And doing mileage will help that, but not just doing mileage for the case of the sake of doing mileage and not just doing mileage at really high intensities, I've also been trying to do more lower intensity workouts um, on on the rowing machine. And so that's where I'm on the machine from an hour to 90 minutes roughly for a low heart rate workout. So for me, that's 60%-ish of my, heart, my maximum heart rate at so 130 or so. And that means that I can do quite a lot of distance and not really run into too much fatigue. Obviously when you're doing a lot of training and doing a lot of working out, the fatigue is there, but when you sort of lower the intensity, you can push the volume a little bit higher, but obviously pushing the intensity too far down can mean you don't get training benefit and too far up also means you don't get a training benefit that you might want. So having a good combination of low intensity, long stuff, and high intensity workouts as well seems to be working for me. But also a big thing about the training program just now is taking time between sessions. So I'll, I'm extending the sessions throughout the entire day almost, and that's it was really easy to do that at home um, when I've got my rowing machine, and you can just 
hop on it wherever I went. And so that's what we're trying to do once we get all sorted in Bath. My round bath is have a place where if it's, um, I can do a rowing machine workout, a steady state, UT2, easy workout, get Netflix on or whatever it is, and watch that while doing a workout, but having a massive gap in between sessions, which just helps recovery. Also, weights that I've been doing as well. A lot of higher volume weights that's into winter training, getting stronger, getting bigger, getting fitter. So a lot of sort of squats, bench press, bench pull, and high volume stuff into sort of tens, reps of sets of 10, sets of 15, a little bit of hypertrophy. And then once we sort of progress through the season, lowering that down once we've sort of, again, looking at building that base to build off of strength wise, as well as fitness and aerobic wise. So we can build up on onto that as we head through the season. Because like I said, before I feel like I've had or have a good power output. It's just being able to use that power output for longer and that's just sort of aerobic fitness and lactic threshold training etc and that's what we're kind of doing a little bit of a combination of but I'll be talking about it more and more as we go through the year and as I do more and more of this different program and learn more and more and just it also helps doing more and more research just to make sure that if I am training and it's going one way and I'm thinking maybe I could change that and do some research on different types of training and you think okay maybe it's time to change it up a little bit and that's what a, a huge benefit of training by yourself you can just say okay well I've tried this training and it's went really well do I continue or do I adjust or if, is there another type of training that could be added or taken away etc to to improve things even further so I had the, the half hour PB the other day on Sunday and which suggests that the training I'm doing so far has been helping but obviously it's only been a few weeks a couple of weeks so it's not a case of oh well I've only done a week's training and that means my fitness is through the roof unfortunately training doesn't really work like that so you have to do so it'll probably be eight or so weeks before I can definitively say I'm fitter or even though my scores right now especially in the sort of half hour are better than they ever have been so the training is working but I don't know if it's working towards the sort of aerobic fitness that we're trying to go for the base sort of that we can work off of that we're trying to go for and you can't really tell if that's properly worked on until you've kind of had a big block of training because of fitness your body it doesn't adapt that fast like over a week or so it's minimum minimum six um, but really eight to ten to twelve weeks that you were saying okay well if I train for this way for that long I can say that it worked did it not work what worked what didn't work but hopefully that makes sense now it's time to go to the gym again for a little bit of variation like I said because remember variation is a key to motivation and it's just doing something so pretty much all of the mileage that you saw earlier has been on the erg so just doing some different things that aren't necessarily on the air can also help with motivation too so now let's get to the gym Finished a little bit of the variation workout, a little bit of rope moving, a little bit of tire flipping, and just like I said, getting something different in, getting the heart rate raised with a little bit of variation to change things up. But now it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel, and I'm just going to talk about a little bit of the recovery on the sort of program I'm doing. But now let's get some food first. And just as we're finishing up cooking some chicken deliciousness for fueling up post session, talking about recovery for the training program. Obviously, food is a massive part of that because remember, food is fuel. So, change the diet a little bit to push up the carbs slightly, keep the protein 
kind of similar, but for me, I'm burning a lot of energy, or burning a lot of fuel, so I need a lot of fuel, whether that is protein or carbs, but speaking to nutritionists, it seems like I need more carbs than I thought I did. So, pushing that up a little bit and feeling good for it, as well as taking time in between the sessions, like I spoke about earlier, making sure that it's not just session after session after session and bang, 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 and a big recovery time, it's more about recovering after one session and utilizing that recovery for the next session so that you get the most out of each individual session rather than out of each individual day because if you can get each individual session done really well then the overall progress of that day should be better if that makes sense but that will be it for today's video Janskod hopefully you enjoyed it just discussing a little bit of the training program let me know what your kind of training towards or training for or what your training program is like and if you are sort of shifting your program around, around a little bit and as always remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the Vox. Oh yeah!